by the way, I didn't mention, mention this. Another reason why a doctor will have you administer the Snell and eye chart is if the patient has had an injury to their eye, and we want to see if their vision has been affected. So that's another reason uh, why we would do this, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and administer the Snell and eye chart. Hello, my name is Carlos. I'm the medical assistant here, and the doctor wants me to check your distance, visual acuity, and we're going to be using the eye chart. Uh, is that okay? Okay, have you ever had this done before? Yes. Okay, so it's pretty easy. I'm going to give you this eye cover, it's an ocular cover, and I'm going to have you cover the eye that I asked you to cover, either the left or right eye, and you're just going to put it in front of the eye. What I don't want you to do is to close your eye, just keep it open and cover it so that you're only looking out of the other eye, okay? So hang on to that, I already cleaned it for you. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you stand 20 feet back. Now there's a line over here, really nice, but there's a line over here. And it's right here, lined up with this. I'm just going to say it's lined up with that. And I'm going to have you just place your toes right on that line. Okay. Now I'm going to go over to the door and I'm going to open up um, the chart that's hanging there. It's, it's face backwards, so you can't see the letters. But I'm going to chart it around. But before I do that, I'm going to have you cover your left eye, and we're going to test your right eye first. Okay. Now during this test, don't step forward, don't lean forward, and don't squint to see the letters. Okay, I just want you to read what you can read with normal vision, not straining your eyes. Okay, any questions? Okay, so I'm going to go over here, and uh, what I'd like to do is have you cover your left eye, and we're going to check your right eye first. Remember, no squinting, just look um, normal. Okay, so um, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you read line three from this direction over to this direction. Read those letters for me. T-O-Z. Very good. We're going to go to line four. This time we're going to read it backwards. D. -E. Very good. Now we're going to read line five. Let's go this direction. T E C S D. Very good. Okay, we're moving now to line six and we're going to go backwards. T Z C S D E. Very good. All right, now we're going to go to line seven from here over to here. F E L O P Z E. Okay, great. How about line eight? We're going to go backwards this time. C E T O P. Do the best you can. Um, okay, very good. Um, and we're going to read now line 8. We're going to go forward from that direction over to this direction. Oh, we did that. Uh, line 9, let's go forward. L-E-T-O-D-E-C-T. -E -E very good. How about line 10? We're going to go backwards. O-E-C-T-L-P. Okay, very good. How about line 11? We're going to go forward this time. Oh, I did not read that. Okay, very good. So go ahead and cover your other eye. And I just want to ex uh, explain it. Well, don't cover it yet. Let me just explain a couple of things. Now, she started having trouble, but I kept going. The Snell and I chart is usually, um, the line is usually failed when a person misses two or more. Okay, so did she miss two on that one where she couldn't, uh, she couldn't read that last letter? No. So I moved to the next one. And I think she missed, did she miss one on that, that second line after that? Yeah, so I just kept going. So when would I stop and say that the line was failed? Yeah, so if she missed that line, we don't count that line. We have to now go back to the previous line, and that is their measurement. You'll see 20 over 50 or 20 over 15. I think you had 2015 in the right eye. Okay, do you guys, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Now, um, <clears throat> what we do is we would document that as being OD 2015 right eye. And, and I forgot to ask you, are you wearing contacts? No. Okay, right eye without no. correction. Okay. And I forgot to ask you in the beginning, are you wearing corrective lenses? Do you wear glasses? Um, and apparently you don't, okay? So we're going to say that your, you, your right eye was, um, well, actually you don't have to write right, because OD means right eye. Oculus Dexter means right eye, and uh, she had 20-15, which is good. You're able to read at 20 feet what most people have to step forward and read at 15 feet, okay? So now I'm going to have you cover your right eye, and we're going to test your left eye, okay? So um, with your eye, remember not to touch your eye with the cover. Don't squint. Don't lean forward. And, um, 
and don't uh, step forward. All right, so I'm going to have you read with your left eye now, line four, we're going to go backwards, starting from here, working over to there. D-E-P-L. Very good. How about line five, also backwards? D-F-C-E-P. Okay, line six, we're going to go forward. E-D-F-C-Z-P. Very good. Line seven, also forward. F-E-L-O-P-Z-D. Okay, very good. Line eight, backwards. C E T O P F E D. Very good. How about line nine also backwards? F D. Oh, wait, we're going from here, right? Line nine? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I can't read that. Can't read it? Okay. No. All right, so she actually read line eight, which is 2020. So we have um, line eight is. Can you write OS, Oculus Sinister? Uh, 2020. OS 2020 without correction. You can just put a couple of lines there. <laughs> okay, does anybody know what strategies I'm using to ensure she's not cheating? Remember I said, no leaning forward, no stepping forward, and no squinting. What are the strategies that I'm using to make sure that's not happening or that she hasn't memorized the numbers? Are you guys watching what I'm doing? I'm changing the direction, just randomly, okay? Um, what else am I doing? I'm not sure. <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm not looking at here with her. I'm actually watching her. And I only shoot back every so often to make sure that the, num that the letters are correct. Okay? It's so easy to want to follow the letters with them so you, you're, you know that the, the letters are correct. Now what I do is if I say read line 8 backwards to forwards, I memorize the first three. I just memorize them real quickly. And as she reads them and they're correct, I don't really have to do anything. And then when she goes to that fourth letter... I look back real quickly and memorize an X3. And so I'm not focused on following the letter she's reading. I'm more focused on her. What am I looking for? Squinting. Leaning forward. And, and that she hasn't stepped forward. Okay? It's up to you to catch that. And I know that it's kind of hard because you're so focused on this. All right, so you're not using the cover at all. I'm going to have you read... Um, oh, by the way, we know that she has 2015 in the left eye. She has, I'm sorry, the right eye. She has 2020 in the left eye. Do I need to start way back on line four for both eyes? No. No, no, no. That's just going to waste too much time. So all I have to do now is say, okay, I'd like you to read line six backwards for me, please. P Z C F D E. How about line seven also backwards? D Z P O L E F. Okay, line eight forward. D E F P O T E C. Okay, line nine also. Well, let's go forward. L E F O D P C T. Okay, line ten also forward. F D P L T C. I don't know that one, but the last one's O. Okay, so you got oh, one. Oh, E-O. Right. Yeah, okay. How about 11 backwards? D-T-F-C-L-O. I don't know. Okay. So, now, um, for both eyes, which is O-U, so it's O-U, we have 2015 as well. 2013, actually. Both eyes was 2013. Typically, when you use both eyes, you're, you're using what's called convergence to be able to see these letters with, with much more acuity, okay? So, essentially, she meets or exceeds normal distance visual acuity, which is good, okay? And that's how we would document that. That's how I want you to document the procedure. You have to practice one and then skill out on one. You don't have to skill out on your second one. You can practice a couple of them and skill out. But, um, you know, I want you to really try to do this correctly. Okay. Now, before we finish, there, is, um, there are a couple of colors here. And we use the, these bars to screen for color blindness. And so, um, Parmeet, uh, before we finish, can you tell me what color this is? 
Green. Green? Okay, very good. And what color is this? Red. Red. Thank you. Very good. Now, notice how every time she completes something, I give her reinforcement. Very good. Now, let's go to this line. Good job. Now, let's go to this line. And I just think it's important that we constantly give that feedback to the patient as they as they go through this because they don't really understand what, you know, what we're doing necessarily. I mean, they know we're checking their eyes, but they don't understand the whole process. Okay. So you can go ahead and have a seat. Thank you very much. And that's how you conduct the distance visual acuity test. Okay. Thank you.